Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back, guys. We're in the kitchen. If you're trying to be healthier this year, a great place to start is always by drinking more water. And if you're unsure how much water you're supposed to be drinking um, every day, some say take your body weight divided by two, and then that is the number of ounces that you should be drinking every day. Now, I know that seems like a lot. It's difficult, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard, especially if you don't like water. So we've got some refreshing ways that you can amp up your water intake. So we've got three examples set up for you today of plain water. We have got some soda water, and then hard seltzers for your weekends, of course. Um, obviously, drinking water is a great way to help you drink more and hydrate, but adding fruit is what we're going to do today to make it taste a little better. So okay. We each have our own glasses. Sure thing. So this is our regular water. So you can always jazz this up by adding whatever you'd really like. Um, like, I'm going to put some lemons, some oranges, and cucumbers. Cucumbers are a I great eat cucumbers way. cucumbers every day. Actually, there's a lot of water in cucumbers, too. So if you just eat cucumbers, you get water out of it. Oh, see? Health tips with John. I like it. So doing this, adding a little pizzazz to your water is a great way to, um, you know, get more water in you. You but ever try just shooting those those water sweeteners? You know what I'm talking about? I don't about? know how I feel about There's them. There's a weird taste to them. It so is disconcerting. I never do this, though. I'm going to have to try this. We'll see. We'll have some for you in a minute. So that's your regular water, but if you are missing the carbonation of the sodas, because for me... Wait, it's is that grapefruit the or carbonation. Is that an orange? That's an orange. Okay. But you can add a little something in there. So we've got two different flavors of seltzer water. Would you like tangerine or would you like lemon? I'm going to go with lemon. Okay, lemon for you. So... We've got some different flavors over here. Oh, yours doesn't have the peely on it. That's why you <laughs> took it, you stinker. Fancy. <laughs> so, again, you can add whatever fruit you want to these to make them um, a little snazzier, but you still get the carbonation like you would. That's what you would go for. Like, if you had your choice between just yeah. regular water and carbonation, you're exactly. going to go for the carbonation. So, folks around work know that I have a giant hot pink water bottle, and it's not mm -hmm. because I love the color pink, it's so I can't ignore it. It's got your name right on there. Exactly. Too. Nobody can take it. Yes, it'll make me drink a little more water. Okay. So for the tangerine and strawberry, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon and some actual strawberries. But what flavors are you going to put? I've got lemon, so I'm going to add some lime to it as okay. well. I'm just to say for the citrus, right? You like the citrus. And the citrus oh. is good. Great source of vitamin it D is. to help you be healthy. So for our next one, you mentioned last week, Josh, that you are the expert at cutting up mangoes, Not right? the expert, <laughs> but I've been getting a lot better at it. So we've got our mango here. This one's a little bit lopsided. Anybody who's tried to cut these before knows... Uh, I'm going to scoot these out of your way. Yeah, so we it's kind of difficult to do, but basically there's a big pit in the middle. If you've ever tried to cut one of these, it's actually a lot of work, but you can start cutting through it. You'll probably hit a little bit of a pit there. You're better than me. I have never cut up a mango ever. Have you never? Mm -mm. So, yeah, the pit is very large, too. Okay. So you can tell I'm already hitting it there. So I'm actually going to scoot this out of the way so everybody can see there you go. all the good stuff you're doing. So anyway, I probably left a lot on there. But then you can just, have you ever done it with the avocado? Where you just kind of slice it? Okay, so you're going to do that. I'm sorry, I'm just going to keep reaching in front of you and scooting things out of the way. Just don't scoot in front of the knife. I know, that's it. I'm trying we'll to keep my okay. sleeves over here out of your way. But basically, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so while you're doing that, gonna I'm going to go ahead it. and open our hard seltzers. So we have a white claw mango over here. Put a little bit in there. And then, what's the trick? Do you just peel the skin back? Yeah, you can do it like that. Okay. And then use the smaller knife. Sometimes they'll just come right off of there. Once it's nice and ripe. Yeah. So you can add this to your seltzers. And of course, one thing to note, with all of these, the longer you leave the fruit in there, the better it's going to taste. So you can find these ideas and some others. Maybe even share your own at our website. Our, yeah, arclotexhomepage.com underneath Loving Living Local. Help you stay healthy and make some good choices, get some more water in there. Um, you know, I'm personally really excited about our, our regular waters that we make. Are you? Yeah. I'm excited about all the waters here. And the mango. I know I the mango's for you. The carbonated citrus water. Well, guys, stick around. When we come back, we are going to be um, back out front challenging Josh it's to some trivia. Trivia, trivia yes. Tuesday. You'll want to stick around for that.